Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. If you're joining me for the first time, please note that I'm recording at, the, at this at the beginning of February of 2015, and the game is still in early access, so what you see here may lanes. change. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. All right, let's go dispatch these brigands. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion. I will. They all may hear of your arrival. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Leave nothing unchecked. Nice. There is much to be found in forgotten places. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Tempted to shoot this guy. Twelve health, huh? Hmm. I'm trying to decide here if I want to. You know what? Actually. Yeah, I will shoot the second guy. There we go, it's a good hit. Tried to stun the guy in the front. Resisted. Okay. Oh, come on. Once again, one oh one hit point left. <laughs> oh, come on. Sun, please. There we go. Oh, that was the problem. I, I didn't ask. I didn't say please last time. That's why it didn't actually work. Huh? Okay, I'll remember that. Press Seventeen crit. Nice. Give them no quarter. A devastating blow. All right, I'm all right with this. I'll bleed him. Let's see, stun, please. Oh, resisted. All right. There we go. Try to stun him? Let's try to stun him. There we go. Well, whittling him down. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, take all this and then is that locked? Yeah. All right, well, we'll try. Nope, oh, blighted. That's okay. We're done. Pretty good. Okay, what do we get? Uh, minus two speed, below light 25. Okay, that's not too bad, because I plan on these guys both being in my quote-unquote light run group. Amateur Armorsmith, minus 20% armor cost upgrade. Okay. Second Wind, plus 10% damage, below 50% health. Okay, that's pretty good. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. All right, so Stafford here. Yep. One of my subscribers. I have an ongoing list of subscribers that have requested to be added to the game. I will do so. If you have interest in being added to that list, please put something in the comments below this video. 
All right, so let's take a look at Stafford in some more detail. Uh, quirks. He's got Warrior of Light. He's got the Amateur Armorsmith. He's a kleptomaniac, so he tends to steal stuff from the group. He will only pray for stress relief in town. And he gets minus two speed when his light is below 25. Okay, this is, I can live with all that. That's fine. Um, if you're not familiar with Quirks or, or really with Darkest Dungeon at all, I do have some basic, very basic primers um, that will explain uh, things like the stress levels and how to deal with that. And I'll actually put some links like right over here, like one, two, three, something like that in this area. And you can select those and go to those videos. Again, they're very, very basic. And remember, this is being recorded when this game is still in early access. All right, let's take a look at our second guy here, which if for those of you that are not familiar with Darkest Dungeon, these first two characters are always static. You always get these same two. Um, and then when you go to the stagecoach, which is where you get new recruits, that's also random. So I have no idea what I'm going to get there. Let's see who's next on the list here. I've got Stafford. Uh, this is a highwayman, and this one's going to go to JP. All right, there we go. All right, let's take a look at the stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. Okay, Plague Doctor and All a Vestal. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Oxus Blast, Blinding Gas. Okay, good. Grab both What's of these. Better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield. Okay, and then we're going to upgrade. Word this is what is we're going to focus our upgrades on, on getting... Stirring in distant cities. I, I love you, narrator, but please, shush it. Shush your face. Okay, so <laughs> before I was really interrupted by the cool narrator, um, we're going to try to upgrade the stagecoach as much as possible. I'm going to really focus on both the network and the barracks uh, so that we can increase our roster and have a greater selection of heroes. And then we'll flesh out the other upgrades to things like the blacksmith and guild and whatnot, you know, as we go along. But this is by far the most important thing early on. Uh, you want to keep all of your, in my opinion, the best thing to do is to keep all of your characters at relatively the same level and just cycle them in and out each week and manage your stress as you need to. Uh, because once they get to a certain tier, like for instance, let's say you get to tier three, you're not going to have access to them unless you're going to what the game says is an appropriate dungeon challenge. So a level three dungeon. If you don't have a complete group, you're going to kind of make it more difficult on yourself than you need to. So hopefully that makes sense. OK, we got Herbert here. Minus 10 percent maximum HP. Hatred of the unholy. That's nice. Natural sing plus five uh, accuracy. OK, this is going to become Let's see. Wilson? Yes, Wilson. Wilson's my plague doctor, so Wilson, there you go. Why didn't that take? Oh, I did something wrong, I guess. Let's try this again. Wilson. There we go. Guess it didn't hit enter. Alright, and then this is going to be... I know that the picture is of a lady or whatever. I, I just treat these as roles, okay? So, like, this person's role is to healing, is healing and or stunning things. I don't really care what the portrait said, so this is actually going to be Bruno. Yes, another subscriber. Enter. Okay, and there's our first official group. America We're going to go to the ruins. And morbidity. Your work begins. All right, let's provision. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Okay, grab food, a couple of bandages, some medicinal herbs, a couple of holy waters, and torches. Let's go. One of the big differences between the first season I did this, which I essentially recorded, I, I, I got access to the game a couple days be before it went on early access. And, better place to begin than the seat of our noble line. and I ended up uh, recording stuff uh, <laughs> a little too far in advance. Let's see. Uh, what do we have? Alchemy table. 
Okay. Herbs. There we go. And I didn't know interactions like that. Like, what things went with what. Surprise. Really? Right off the bat, huh? Hmm. Let me think about this a second here. Let's debuff her. Yeah! <laughs> that worked pretty well. Debuffed her dodge and then shot her with the pistol. Well struck. That'll teach him. Messing with me. Okay, I, no sense shuffling these guys since they're the same. Uh. Let's move back, actually. There's no reason to stay there. Oh, come on. Alright, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Let's see. Do I want to heal? Nah, we can do that in a minute. Let's, um... Let's debuff one of these guys. Yep. Alright, come on now. Yes, I know I have bandages. Do I not have the, uh... Oh, I don't have the self-heal. Okay, well, I guess I am gonna have to bandage then. There we go. Heal you. There we go. Okay, move there. Uh, what are we gonna? I don't want to attack him, so I guess I'll just shift around like this. Yep, stun him. Now, why stun? Well. So that I can hopefully get another heal in. Mm-hmm. Like so. And let's get rid of this guy. Confidence surges. Nice! 14 crumbles. crit. Wow. That was pretty impressive, Wilson. Okay, so you go back there. Let's grab this stuff. Light's okay. Let's keep going. Grab it. There we go. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, did I go the wrong? <laughs> I guess I went the wrong way. Okay, no problem. There's the alchemy table. Let's keep going. Don't look at me that way, it can happen to anybody. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Ow! Curious is the trap maker's art, his efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Nope, all right. Let's go down here then. That wasn't too bad. Let's see. Yeah, let's heal you. I think I'm gonna move her up one. She should be in spot three, actually. How quickly the time oh, ten crit. Hmm. 
miss, huh? All right. Blind them. There we go. Decent hit. Resisted the bleed, huh? All right. Good, he missed. All right. We're going to keep one of these shooty shooter guys alive. Let's kill this guy. Okay, now. Heal. We'll keep one of them alive and try to keep them stunned. There we go. Good. You missed. Okay, let's try to get rid of this guy. Good. Okay. Punch this guy in the face. Okay, I'll take this opportunity to shift back one. And I will as well, or let's see. Yep, Wilson, have him shift back as well. Toss a heal here. Stun. Resisted. Uh. Now, I have a ranged guy in melee combat, so he's not nearly as dangerous as he could be. So even if I don't get the stun off, it's not that big a deal. There we go. Five heal. Nice. You just have to make a judgment call. Okay, got a stun. If you don't get the stun, do you want to finish the person off or not? go another heal long as I keep now the next one's gonna kill him but should get another round of heal here and dead guy and there you have it as victories mount so too will resistance Oh, let's grab some more light. Okay, stack of books. Okay, right. Stack of books. So here's the deal. There's a 40% chance that there's a trap, and there's a 40% chance that you'll get a quirk, and a 66% chance that you'll get a positive quirk if you if you go for this. Uh, I'm going to do it. Slow draw. Okay, well, I got the negative one. Minus four speed first round. Okay. Well, I have to get rid of that. Now, what do we have here? Confessional booth? Uh, holy water? I don't remember what the confessional booth is. Holy water, yes. So he got some stress relief. Oh, they're surprised. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, so what do we want to do here? I think we will... Let's debuff her. She's the one that generates stress. The match is struck. A yep. blazing star is born. Blind him. So far, so good. Stun or Zealous Accusation? Let's try Zealous Accusation. Okay. Not too bad. Let's debuff her again. 
we need her to die. Okay, three shot. Really? Missed her too? She resisted. Uh, that's unfortunate. There we go. Good. Okay, kill. Uh, can we kill her? Yes. And now we have a ranged guy up close again. Now this guy's a little more dangerous than the last time we had a ranged guy, but still. So we'll try to stun him. Like so. And heal up. Do we want to blight him? Yeah, not really. Yeah, we'll just move. If you don't do anything, by the way, if you pass your turn on a character, they get additional stress, so you don't want to do that. Okay, heal. Yep. Heal JP again. Why can't... Oh, he's no longer bleeding. That's why he can't. Okay, fine. Uh, take aim. Move back. Try to stun him. Toss another heal. Move. Stun him. Oh, he resisted. Okay, so now we'll go for the kill. No sense giving him a this chance, right? At least promises success. Okay, you move back here. What do we got here? Heirloom chest, okay. Unlock. Wealth beyond measure. Youth chalice. To the brave Plus fifteen the fool, max HP. Like. Minus four accuracy. It's not bad for somebody focused on healing. Want to use that? Maybe I'll think about it. Okay, let's see here. Scouting, good. Got another fight just out here. All right. Well, hey, but I don't want this first episode to get too long, so I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and end this one here, and when we come back, we'll start with that fight. So I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of the new season so far. If you have, please hit that thumbs up button. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.